I feel quite sad in a way that, you know, why the hell people got to fight each other? I mean, Thai people. And in a way, and I think, okay, my main feeling is actually, I feel that why we, why the majority of Thai people can be, to me, huh, manipulated that easily. I was asking people on the road when they start, you know, of course, when the, when the raids start being active and stuff, people from the street in Bangkok, Main Street, wearing shirt, those support shirt, red shirt, wearing shirt and doing this kick, 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 clapping and stuff. And openly said that they're the raid. And I, I actually, I, I talked to them. I went and talked to them. And I said, oh, because they have to have taxing back. I said, why? Oh, because taxing will then, will then help us. Uh, there will be no poor people. There will be less gap uh, um, between poor, the poor and the rich. And I said, why do you believe so? Because he gave us money directly. Of course, through his policy at the time when he was in power. And I asked the girl, the, the, not the girl, the lady really, and they said, so you prefer people who give you money? Or let's say you want to have fish, but you prefer people to give you fish rather than people give you a, a fishing rod. And she looked at me like, what are you talking about? I'm like, okay, all right, maybe it's too deep. <clears throat> okay, so I said, how do you believe in the next five years there's going to be no poor? She couldn't answer me. She just said to me, we like Taksin. We love him. He's good. And we are from up country. Therefore, we need to support Taksin. So after that incident, I, I was very, you know, more kind of depressed in a way that why there's no reasoning going on in this, in this society anymore. It's, it's not about, it's reasoning and also why can't people see the good and the, the goodness and badness, you know, this is to, to start with. And somehow the theme of the protest, um, uh, of the protest demonstration turned to be non-taxing. The theme turned to be struggling um, between classes of the poor and the rich. And I'm like sitting at home thinking, why the hell a Tuxin is the, the richest man in Thailand? Hello? You know? And, and he actually in Thai, he called himself Prai. Prai in Thai means, it's a very, very old um, tradi traditional word. Huh? Prai means anyone lower than servant. So Prai is like a lowest class in the old traditional Thai monarchy ways. And he called himself Prai. And, and to us, us meaning people who actually somehow a little bit educated. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that the ratio are uneducated, no. I'm saying that those who know, happen to know, we know. We see things, we, we listen to news, we, we don't listen to only news that support one group. No, we listen to, to, to news, uh, many channels and many different methods and ways. And we know that, okay, all right, this is this is not something about classes, you know. This is now something about manipulating the crowd to, to bring in people and to get something done for him or herself. And and actually, the theme, as I said, when it become class struggling, then the ex-communists come. The ex-communists came. The the so the, the more interest groups in, in among Russia. Taxin photos and, and the, the, the red shirt that got Taxin face printed on it. No more. Now they changed theme. Taxin is very good with theme. It's so good with branding. So now they changed. They become poor and the rich. That's even great. More people, the poor start thinking, yeah, 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 shit, we're poor. Hey, we need to do something here. More people coming. That was, I remember, 7th of April. 7th of April. Um, there's no rule and regulation there. People start questioning, people like me, questioning, what the hell is government doing? Why no army, no policeman, nothing? I walked out of my house with my daughter. I walked past police station near to my house, Prakanong, and I can mention the name really, Bangkok. And I see, I saw a red flag in the police station. And I looked and I said, Are you, so you're red shirt? So whether you're red or blue or black, I don't care, but you need to, 
you need you need to enforce the law here. And he said, one of the policemen said, everybody is very sure. I was so disappointed. I'm like, okay, then, then how could somebody like me stay in this country and, and, and be guaranteed that I'm going to be safe? He said, oh, come on, let them have fun for a bit. In this case, I, at that moment, I really feel that this is, this is the case of people have two sets of truths. When people see, oh, this is finger, that's group, one group see that is finger, the other group see this is bottle. A completely different, you can't, you, somehow, you need to find somewhere else. Negotiation doesn't work anymore, that's my feeling.